And some breaking news out of college basketball where Rutgers lands five star Dylan Harper, the number two overall player in the 2024 class. Four other programs were in the mix, including Duke, Indiana, Auburn, and Kansas. Uh, Dylan Harper, he is a New Jersey native and the son of Bulls great Ron Harper Sr. Rutgers now has two of the top three recruits in the class of 2024 and Ace Bailey and Dylan Harper. You see the top five here, Rutgers with two and three. The Scarlet Knights now the number three overall class in 2024 in team rankings only behind Duke and Kentucky. Of course, the best recruiting class in program history for Rutgers and Steve Peichel. And for more on this, let's welcome in director of scouting for 24 seven sports, Adam Finkelstein. Adam Rutgers now is two of the top three recruits in the class of 2024. We saw the list there in Dylan Harper and Ace Bailey. Just how big of a deal is this for Rutgers? This is unprecedented, uh, never could have expected it in your wildest dreams kind of big for Rutgers. I mean, not only to get two of the three best players in the country, but to beat out Duke because here's the reality of it. Um, Dylan Harper was down to five, but this had very much been perceived as a, a Duke versus Rutgers battle uh, all the way back into the summer. Indiana really tries to tried to close the gap and other schools really tried to make an effort to get him on campus but but this was this was Duke and Rutgers uh, for the vast majority of the runway of Dylan Harper's recruitment and Steve Peichel and Rutgers they just beat Duke so that is uh, that is very very notable even even with the family connection obviously Dylan's older brother Ron Harper Jr playing for Rutgers between 2018 and 2022. Um, so tell us just more about Dylan Harper I mean Adam what makes him so special what is he going to bring to the program and how is he going to fit there? He's the most productive guard in the country. You know, lots of times we talk about upside and these traits that could make a player great. Dylan Harper is already a great player. Um, he's a big guard who has continued to grow throughout his high school career. He stands at about six foot six right now. He's got about a six ten wingspan. He's a lefty. He can play on and off the ball. He's got a very controlled pace to his game and terrific instincts that you would expect from someone who grew up in a basketball family. Uh, so you can't speed him up. He can score from different spots on the floor. He can score over top of smaller guards. He's an excellent rebounder. Um, there, there's not too much that he can't do. So he is as college ready a guard as there is in the class. He's not an elite of elite athletes and he can still get a little bit better in terms of his long term shooting. I would say those are the areas that that still have some untapped upside, but he's going to be the best freshman guard in college basketball next year. And he's going in with a good friend of his Ace Bailey, who is as good of a long-term prospect as there is in the class not named Cooper Flag. Yeah, the two and three uh, prospects there in the country, both going to Rutgers. And when you think about Rutgers beating out Duke, of course, we talk about the Blue Bloods in college basketball. There's always high expectations for Duke. Rutgers is starting to get kids over that program. So what's your outlook for Rutgers moving forward for this upcoming season? Well, they're going to be very young next year. And when you get players like Harper and Bailey, it comes with not just an unprecedented talent, but also unprecedented expectations. So these are two prospects that regardless of where they committed, they were going with one and done expirations. So now that expectations, I should say, that's something that Steve Peichel hasn't had to deal with before. Now they've got a little bit of a leg up in the process because Harper's kind of grown up around the program watching his brother play there. But you're going to see a very young but an extremely talented Rutgers team next year that's going to be playing under the type of national kind of magnifying glass that they've never played before. So these are unprecedented waters for Rutgers, but a very, very exciting time in the history of the program. All right, Adam Finkelstein joining us here on HQ as we are following that breaking news. Dylan Harper, the number two overall player in the class of 2024, picking Rutgers over Duke. And Adam and the 24-7 sports crew always bring you the latest updates on recruitment rankings, transfer portal updates, commitment news. Make sure you check them out at 247sports.com.